Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October messages. So I've already laid out your cards so that we can see and save some time. So um, it looks like for the month of October for you Cancer, it seems as though there's something that you have unfinished business to do in regards to either a project, a lover, matters of your career, a home life, or a project that you have are not completed yet or you want to begin and you keep procrastinating because you are afraid that it might go bad. So I feel like with the world card reversed, okay, we have the world reversed first of all, okay. This is talking about something that's not completed yet. Something is still going on. There, it's not complete yet. There's still some unfinished business to do. Right next to that is the Ten of Swords. So I feel like you could be stressed out about something, maybe having nightmares, having a lot of anxiety about the situation because it could be a person or a project, even work, um, that's causing you to feel this way. I feel like you've been picking up a lot of the energies of the planetary waves that's going on. So that's been like really tripping you out and that's probably, that's, keeping you from doing things because we have the hermit card here so with the hermit card I feel like you've been wanting to spend some time alone some me time to gather your thoughts and everything uh, to quiet out your mind because of the anxiety that's going on in your mind so I feel like with this alone time and, and you know just spending time at home or just being alone is giving you the opportunity to see things clearly, to absorb uh, anything that's going on around you so that you can balance out your emotional and, and mental state of mind. Um, we do have the Ace of Wands here. And with the Ace of Wands, this is like create creativity. This is like a fresh new energy that's going on here. Trying to keep the fire burning, trying to keep the energy going constantly on this like rat race thing where you're like, I got to keep going. I got to keep myself on my toes. I got to keep busy. It's kind of like having to constantly keep the fire burning. So because the world is reversed, I feel like any project you're doing, uh, anything that you are working like a goal, you have to constantly keep it going. You have to like get on your toes. You have to keep it going to achieve a certain uh, dream. Um, it's not completed yet, so I feel like you're. it's not done yet because you've been you know, taking breaks here and there because of the Ten of Swords. You, there's something that's stressing you out. And there's a decision that has to be made. Uh, with the Two of Bats here, this is the Two of Swords. This is talking about a decision needing to be made. This could be in regards to love, being at a crossroads with your, with your job, with your project, with anything. Maybe because we have the Two of Bats and the Ten of Swords, there could be, there's times where you feel like you just want to give up and just say fuck it to whatever it is that you're working on or whoever you're working with, okay? Maybe a relationship because it stresses you out sometimes and you're like, I don't want to continue, but Spirit is telling you not to do that. You need to continue work on your dreams. Something's going to spark inside of you because we have the Star card that's going to remember, to get you to remember why you even begun or why you want to keep going, okay? This is something that you're passionate about, something that you wish upon, like wish upon a star type of thing. Um, something that's going to give you hope to continue. With this Ace of Wands, this new energy that's going to be given to you by the universe, it's going to really help you to get back on your toes and to continue. We have the Chariot here, which is telling you to move forward, okay? This is forward movement. This is success. So whatever that you're continuing to do after you spend some time to yourself to think about certain things and let the, the wave of anxiety pass you, um, that's when you're going to decide what you're going to do to further this and how you're going to accomplish it. Okay? Uh, there is something that's been really stressing you, burdening you, because we have the Ten of Imps, which is the Ten of Wands. Okay, this is like carrying the weight of something, stress, anxiety. Maybe there's a lot of bills that are piling up and it's just like weighing down on you. Whatever it is, whatever is weighing down on you, Spirit is telling you let it go. Walk away from it. Because we have the Eight of Ghosts, which is the Eight of Cups, next to the Ten of Wands. So whatever is stressing you out or causing you to feel burdensome, Spirit is asking you to walk away from it. Drop it. 
It does not serve you in any way, shape, or form. Okay, let it go. It's not. It's not good for you. And if if it's not helping you move forward with the chariot, let it go, boo. It's not good for you. Walk away from it. Okay. Uh, we do have the nine. No, the King of Cups. King of Cups reversed. This is. This could be you or somebody else that you're dealing with. Next to that, we have the Ace of Ghost reversed, which is the Ace of Cups reversed. So I feel like you've been having some love issues or some emotional issues where you feel like your emotional needs or your love is not being met. And that's that could be, you know, getting to you so you can get a little emotional or you feel like we're not worthy of somebody's love or you feel like you're not um, that you are not meant to have that type of love. But I feel like it's just. Like I said, a wave passing you by. And that's when the hermit card comes in, okay? When you have time alone to think. All those things, unnecessary worries, start to come up. And that's what's stressing you out. So don't pay attention to that, okay? Uh, with the Ace of Wands, I mean the hermit reverse for the clarifier being underneath the Ace of Wands, okay? So if let's say there's a project that you're working on and we have the hermit reverse. Spirit is asking you whatever it is that you're working on, like a passion, a creative thing. Do not hide it. Bring it out to the world. It's time for you to finish it up and bring it out to the world so so it can become something successful and big. So whatever that you're working on or that you're dreaming about doing, do it because the world needs you. Okay, Everybody has their own unique gift and it's time for you to bring that out into the world and show and shine. Okay, Especially with the star card here. All will be well, okay? It's all about you taking action, doing it. Like I said with the Two of Bats, this is taking action, a decision at a crossroads, all right? So that would be your decision whether you want to continue with this or not, but I feel like you should because we have the chariot and obviously the star. This is forward movement, having your wishes being granted. So we're, I know you're... You will work really hard towards whatever it is that you want and you will achieve it. The Oracle card that we have here that came out using the uh, Halloween Oracle, we have the Witch. The Witch card came out. Okay, Witches represent powerful healers, powerful beings, having your own power within. Okay, Sometimes people don't know how powerful and how healing they can be un until they get put into that spot where you reach your lowest and then you have no choice but to tap into that type of power so the witch the uh earthly weaver of the world see how that fire is in her hands look at that the ace of wands you have the power to make things happen you have the power to get things going okay you have the powers in your hands you can make things happen very creative energy creative force surrounding you it's all about you i feel like you are going to be realizing that this month that it's all about you and nobody else you you have it within you boo boo you have it within you to make anything that you want happen okay so let me read a little bit of the witch from here here it is just i'm going to read the end okay it says holding the witch card means that you can weave your own change throughout your life and that magic indeed is afoot you must understand that you have power and it is real it may also indicate that others may be threatened by your developing personal power and that they may not appreciate or like the changes as you grow people doesn't like when people grow right because it changes who you are but how does a butterfly become a butterfly be prepared for be prepared for this and do not be discouraged, okay? And you will be discouraged because we have the Ten of Swords here. And that's going to be like you being like, oh, am I going to give up? No, you should not. Because the Ten of Swords is like that dark night of the soul hitting rock bottom, the worst you can be because you feel like you can't complete something and you feel like you're wor worthless or something. But it's, it's all in your head, okay? And then it says, uh, new friends and better opportunities will be attracted instead. Okay? Be prepared for this and do not be discouraged. New friends and better opportunities will be attracted instead. Like I always said, your vibe attracts your tribe. So if you are attracted to a certain energy or group of people, those same people that hold those same um, emotions and and passions and energy will be drawn to you and you guys will click and that's what's going to keep you going that's going to bring hope back into your life and everything because you will be motivated again so that's going to help you 
move forward. Okay, Cancer? Well, this was your message for October. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in your next video.